All right, boys and girls, we are learning about basic physics today. Distance, position, displacement, 3Ds. But they get often confused, so let's make sure right now that we learn this. Write this down. Try to memorize it. D in physics with the little arrow stands for position. A DT graph is a position time graph. That just means where you are compared to the spot that we're calling zero. But it has a little arrowhead hat, so it is a vector. So position is a vector. How far you are from the spot that we're calling zero. I'm right now on the third floor. Third floor relative to the ground, which we call zero. So that's my position right now on the third floor. If I called the basement zero, I'd be on the fourth floor. But that would be crazy. So. What about displacement? Displacement, as you can see from the math, is the delta position, the change in position. And that's exactly the definition in words. You would write change in position, d2 minus d1. Totally easy. But in words that you can understand, what is displacement? It's not distance, it's displacement. It's how far you are from where you started as opposed to distance, which is a similar idea, so we use a similar symbol, but it's not a vector. It doesn't have a direction, so we take the little arrow off. So delta D stands for distance. Delta D with the arrow stands for displacement. And distance is just a boring, everyday, non super physics -y word, how far you actually go. Let's do a little simple example. Let's say I start here at my home and I go for a walk and I start walking in random directions through the park. And let's say I take 32 steps. I travel a distance of 32 meters because like all good physics teachers, every step I take is exactly one meter. But at the end of the day, I've gone from here to here. My displacement how far I am from where I started with a direction. My displacement might only be, say, 12 meters. North something east. 12 meters from where I started. So displacement is how far you are from your start. Distance is how far you actually travel. Okay? Simple, but you gotta write it down. You gotta remember it. Let's try some examples here. I walked six meters east, then I walked four meters west. First thing I should do in any physics problem, especially once I've learned about vectors, is I should define my coordinate system. So I'm going to say, let east be the same thing as positive. Let east be positive. Well, if I walk six meters east, and then I walk four meters west, how far am I from where I started? Pretty easy, I think. Six meters east, four meters west. I can do that mathematically. I can say that my displacement is going to be 6 meters east plus 4 meters west. But since I said east was positive, that means I've got positive 6 plus negative 4. I wouldn't write this down every time. It's 6 minus 4. No big deal. The answer is positive 2, which of course means 2 meters east. Try to get in the habit of not putting pluses and minuses along with the letters. Plus two meters, which is two meters east. That seems simple enough, but what if for my next walk, I went six meters east, and then I went eight meters west? What would my displacement be in this case? Well, my displacement this time would be six meters east, plus 8 meters west, which is of course 6 minus 8, which is negative 2 meters, which is equal to 2 meters west, because positive is east, negative is west. But don't say negative 2 meters east. Don't say negative 2 meters west, because that means east. Let's separate our pluses and minuses from our directions. So that's how you find the displacement. Going back to my first walk, I walked 6, then 4. It's really easy, I think, to figure out my distance. I walked six, then four. My distance is six meters plus four meters. It's just 10 meters. No problem. In the second walk, I walked six, then eight. My distance, no problem. Six meters plus eight meters. I took 14 steps. I went 14 meters. So distance is how far you go. You don't pay any attention to the directions. Displacement is how far you end up from where you started with a direction. So don't think 
that even though the symbols are almost the same, distance is not just the same as displacement but with a direction. You see how they're different. Two meters east is not the same as 10. Two meters west is not the same as 14. Distance and displacement are different things completely. One more thing. I have one more example. After those two walks, I walked 6 meters east, then 10 meters west, then 4 meters east. What's my total distance? What's my total displacement? Same situation. I'm still letting east be positive. My total displacement is going to be 6 meters minus 10 meters plus 4 meters. East is plus, west is minus. I can put the plus here in front if I want, but I don't have to. 6 minus 10 is negative 4, plus 4 is 0 meters. What's my total distance? How far did I walk? I just add them up without any attention to the direction. 6 plus 10 plus 4 equals 20 meters. Another example, an extreme one perhaps, of how distance and displacement are not at all the same. I did all this walking, I covered a fair bit of distance, but in physics we've discovered that the displacement is often what matters, and in this case my displacement would be zero.